Good morning, my dear children. Hope you all are staying healthy and safe at home. Welcome to your English class, children. Today, let us go for your twelfth chapter, that is Owls in the Family, written by Ruskin Bond. One winter morning, my grandfather and I found a baby spotted owlet by the veranda steps of our home in Dehradun. When grandfather picked it up, the owlet hissed and clacked its bill. But then, after a meal of raw meat and water, settled down under my bed. So, what happened, children? This is a story about owls. Do you know about owls, children? Yes, here mainly they have uh, mentioned as owlets, children. Owlets are nothing but a small owl found mainly in Asia and Africa. Have you seen owls, children? Everybody? I think most of them have not seen, no. See in the image here, you can see. Okay, this is a owl, children. Got it? So, let us see what is the story about children. One winter morning, it was a winter morning children. That time what happened? My grandfather, so here uh, skin bond means the author is speaking. Got it? My grandfather and I found a baby spotted owlet by the varanda steps of a home near in Dehradun. So, they are staying in the place called Dehradun children. There what happened? One day, uh, author and grandfather found baby spotted owlet. Means baby spot, it was a baby owlet and it had spots on his body. Got it. So, they found it near the veranda steps. Okay. In their home itself. Which is in Dehradun. Understood. Yes. When grandfather picked it up, the owlet hissed and clacked its bill. But then, so what happened children? When grandfather picked it, it was in their house only right now children. So, that time what happened is grandfather just picked the towelet. So, it started to hiss and make some noise and clacked. Clacked is nothing but children. Um... Made a short, sharp sound. Andre, uh, if uh, any other birds it might be. If you go and touch, it may fly away. But this owl, what it did, uh, it just reacted. Means, um, if you go and touch some cat and all, newly born kitten and all children, it will make some sound. No, means it will be scared of us, right? So, uh, that, uh, so that we will not touch them. Yes or no children? In the same sense, in the same way, even this owlet did. Got it? And also children, after a meal of raw meat and water, so they gave a meal for uh, owlet, they gave meat and water, after that what happened? It settled down under my bed, means it will settle down under the, uh, under author's bed. Understood? Yes. Spotted owlets are small birds and have none of this uh, sinister uh, appearance of large owls. Spotted owlets are a small birds as I told before children and they don't have none of the sinister appearance. Sinister is nothing but children. Uh, threatening means they won't threaten anybody. Means threaten is nothing but they won't arm anybody or injure anybody. Understood? Like large owls. Got it? Yeah. The owlet is not normally afraid of people nor it is strictly uh, a night bird. So, the owlet is normally uh, not, they are not afraid of people means they easily mingle with people and also nor um, it is not, uh, it is not a night bird also. Got it? But it prefers to stay at home during the day as it is. So, it prefers to stay at the home normally as it is. Got it children? Are you able to understand? Yes. Sometimes attacked by other birds who consider all owls their enemies. Sometimes, uh, sorry children, but it prefers to stay at home during the day as it is sometimes attacked by other birds who consider all owls their enemies. So what happens here children? So, so this owlets always sit inside the home because uh, it may get attacked by other birds 
because other birds consider owlets as their enemies owls as their enemies understood so if they see the owls what they do children they will come and attack them that is the reason they always prefer to sit inside the home got it or they prefer to stay in a safe place understood children yes the little owlets was quite happy i mean the little owlet was quite happy under my bed so author is telling that he was quite happily sitting under the bed got it children it is so cute right yes the following day we found a second baby owlet in almost the same spot on the veranda and only then did we realize that where the rain water pipe emerged through the roof there was a rough sort of nest from which the birds had fallen so the little uh, owlet was happily sitting under his bed children later what happened the following day means later again the next day what happened children he found one more owlet there he saw the second baby owlet so it was all they also got the same uh, i mean this owlet also in the same spot on the veranda understood and that time they realized how come they are getting two two birds like that children they realized that where the rain water pipe emerged means they had done there was a rain water pipe in their house so emerged through the roof it it had emerged from the roof i mean roof andre melgade roof melinda bandittu so there was a rough sort of nest means alli vandu nest ittu understood there was a nest from that nest the birds were birds had fallen got it from that place the birds had fallen children did you understood so yeah. that is the reason one day one bird had fallen another day they got one more uh, howlet also got it yes we took the second young eng owl to join the first and fed them both so what they do what they did children they took the second owl also and they joined with the first one understood and also they fed both of them andre eradu ko utakidru got it yes children now let us turn the page okay children let us continue now when i went to bed they were on the window ledge just inside the mosquito netting and later in the night their mother found them there so what happened children when i went to bed means when he went to the bed what happened children that time they were on the window ledge just inside the mosquito netting Win- window ledge andre ledge is nothing but uh, um, a shelf children near the window there was a shelf on that shelf they were sitting just inside the mosquito netting means mosquito net takidru there okay and later in night what happened their mother found them there so this mother their mother got to know that the kit i mean the birds were baby birds were near the mosquito netting got it yes from outside she crooned and gurgled for a long time gurgled for a long time um and in the morning i found she had left a mouse with its tail tucked through the netting so what happened children mother from the outside this she started to make some sort of sounds like uh, crooned and gurgled is nothing but children crooned is a song softly and gently sang a song song softly and gently and also uh Uh, and also children gurgled is nothing but uh, made a low and bubbling sound so why she is making a sound she is making she is calling the baby birds she is calling her baby birds understood yes so later what she has done in the morning children he found that the uh, the mother owl had left a mouse with its tail near the mosquito net okay, understood Uh, she had left uh, she has left the ma- mouse mouse tail and she has stuck the tail near through the mosquito netting uh, tucked is nothing but to pull or gather up children she has gathered them got it obviously what the author is telling now he is telling that obviously she put no great trust in me as a foster parent for uh, means children what the author is trying to say is so a mother mother owl doesn't trust trust people right why because she don't know whether uh, we, whether uh, we are feeding the uh, we are feeding the baby birds or not or whether we have not given the food uh, so it may die or uh, something may happen for the baby birds right so 
मदर आउल डि नॉट ट्रस्ट दट इज द रीजन शी हैड लेफ्ट द माउस नियर द मस्किटो वट नेट गट एट ये फॉस्टर इज नथिंग बट चिलड्रेन साकल फॉस्टर पेरेंट्स मन अंद्रे सूम्ने मन यार इको नोडारल फो दैट वि कॉल इट अस् फॉस्टर फॉस्टर पेरेंट लाइक दैट गट एट ये The young birds thrived, and ten days later. So, what happened? Young birds thrived is nothing but they grew up children. Dodo, dodo, dai to swalpa. After ten days, grandfather and I took them. Grandfather and I uh, uh, took them um, into the garden to release them. So, what happened, children? Grandfather and I took them into the garden to release them. So, grandfather and this boy, uh, author, took them into the garden. Why to release them? Because they have grown up. They couldn't keep inside the house for a long time, right, children? So that is the reason. I had placed one on a branch of a mango tree and was stooping to pick up the other when I received a heavy blow on the back of a back of the head. So what he did? He took one outlet and he just. Uh, left that on the mango tree. Okay, he placed that on the branch of a mango tree. And what that owlet was doing, children? It was stooping, means bending the body forward. Stooping is nothing but bending the body forward, children. Got it? And to pick up the other one, other when I received a heavy blow on his back, so he was just trying to um, receive one more also. One more baby also was down. No second one for that reason, children. Understand? A second or two later, the mother owl. A second or two later, the mother owl swooped down on grandfather, but he was quite agile and ducked out of the way. So, children, what do you mean by swooped? Swooped is means to fly or glide downwards suddenly. Andre, uh, so it is scared that they may harm the baby bird. So, for that reason, what did the mother bird do, children? It just Mother owl swooped down on grandfather, so it just suddenly, uh, uh, what? Um, it uh, just suddenly, uh, 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 glided downwards on him. Understood? On attack, madu thara, on mail bittu on the grandfather. Got it? But he was quite agile and ducked out of the way. So what happened, children? He just um, agile is nothing but ready to move. So quickly, what happened? He just moved moved away from the place. Who? Grandfather just moved away from the uh, place. Got it, children? Yes. Ducked is also nothing but quickly lower the head. He just bent his head because the mother bird was harming the grandfather. He bent his head and he just moved away from the place. Got it, children? Yes. Quickly, I placed the second owl under the mango tree. So quickly, what he did? He just left the other bird also near the mango tree. Then, from a safe distance, we watched the mother fly down and led her offspring into the long grass at the edge of the garden. So what happened? They they left them. They left the second bird also under the mango tree, and they just ran away. Why? Because Mad, uh, mother bird may harm them, right? Yes or no, children? Yes. So they left the second bird also under the tree, and they ran away, and they just watched uh, in a far distance, and they were just peeping, and they were observing what the mother bird will do. So what did the mother bird do, children? Mother bird fly down and led her offspring into the long grass at the edge of the garden. So mother bird took them, took those two birds to the place where the long grasses were there. Got it? She took there near the edge of the garden. We thought she would take her family away from our rather strange household. But next morning, I found the two owlets in the veranda. So, what this grandfather and the boy author thought, children? They thought that the owl may take their babies far away from the place. Okay, because these people may harm. But what what had happened? The children next day when they came out, so again they saw the baby owlets near the veranda. Understood, children? The mother bird had left the baby owlet again in the same place near the veranda. So baby owlets were near the veranda. Did you understood this child lesson till your children? Yes. 
hope you all have understood interesting chapter about owls right children even we also like if we see any baby birds near our house right children yes so this is all about uh, owlets children understood yes hope you all have understood the chapter till here children i will continue the remaining part in your next video until that i want you all to read the lesson and also next week you have test i want you all to study for that got it children yes children have a wonderful day thank you